today, what kind of spicy do we have? Kit Kat. <laughs> we got our Tokyo treat box for this month. And there was noodles that spicy. Actually, this was last month. Well, it's last month, but we're just now trying it. Yeah. What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> if you know Japanese, then you know what it is. I have no clue. But I'm assuming with the flame, it's going to be spicy. Spicy ramen noodles. That's the name of it? Yeah. Spicy Roman noodles. It looks normal. Okay, Kit Kat. So we done warmed this up. You're actually supposed to do three minutes, but I didn't read on the packet, which says three minutes right there. I accidentally did five, but I stopped it at like 30 seconds left. Mm. But then, so we have this powder-like sauce in like the blue one. It says soup on it in English. And then we have this stuff. You actually can like add eggs and stuff to it because you see that on like the packet. But we're just going to try it like Roman noodles here in America. Just add what it comes with to it. Mm. Now, if you know us, we love Roman noodles. <laughs> we do. Yeah, I like Roman noodles pretty good. So the powder is kind of brownish color. Maybe like uh, that's Usually when it's brownish, that's spicy. Yeah. So you add the whole thing into it. Mm. Which we are going to. <laughs> mm. And then Mustard. <laughs> these are like vegetables and stuff with looks like pepper powder. Probably like tabrika and stuff. Or whatever they use in Japan, I'm not sure. But just like the um, powder, we're just going to add all of this. Now, we don't have chopsticks. We have forks. We haven't went and bought chopsticks or got chopsticks. Right here is the ingredients. Mm -hmm. We, uh, I don't know Japanese, and she's not that advanced no. yet. I barely know it. Mm -hmm. So, we're just going to stir it. Now, this does say it may contain buckwheat. Not good for vegetarians, but doesn't have any shrimp, which if you follow him, I'm sure everybody does. Uh, if you don't, subscribe. But he's allergic to shrimp, so he can't try anything with shrimp. But this does not contain uh, shrimp. Ooh, you can smell the size. It smells like paprika or something. You, you smell. You smell uh, okay. Mmm. Smells good though. It does smell good. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is. You want to try first? I'm first. Yeah. Okay. And we got our water. I'm gonna do the soup first. I can taste the hot, the heat. Make sure I get some of this vegetables. Mm. The noodles look so weird on camera. Well, I guess. And my wife calls me baby mouth. Because hot stuff. And I ain't talking about spicy. Hot. I can't hardly handle. Yes, I put ice in my coffee. Don't believe it, baby mouth. Hey, I'm the same way. We know, baby mouth. <laughs> nice big chunk. Doesn't look like it's that spicy. Cause we tried one and it like lit us on fire. Oh, if you keep eating it. You're going to taste the spicy. Yeah. But he's going to eat it all before I even get to try it. Uh, it's good. It's very good. And it does have heat. Yeah. 
Alright, Kit Kat. Like me turn. and my dad was talking about, there was some Korean mm. ones that we tried, which this is Korean based, if y'all didn't know that. We tried it and it was so spicy. We was like, oh my gosh, we couldn't even have it. So Korea, oh. y'all got some really good spicy stuff. It was good, but it was too spicy for us. But I ate it little bit at a time. Baby <laughs> tongue. Baby tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I blowed on it for a reason. <laughs> okay, you definitely can tell the kick. Like, if you have, like, allergies, you can, like, like me, you can feel it in your throat. You can feel it opening you mm. up. But, whoo! Not spicy <coughs> hot, but hot, hot. Mm. Like I did say, I did put it in there too long, mm. so. I probably should have let it cool down first. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm a girl. I go sit, sit, whatever. It's You're going to cover the whole fork. <laughs> From my personal opinion, it's got a little spice, but it's got a wonderful flavor. Me personally, the soup. Is what's spicy, but not the noodles. Yeah. The soup is where the spice is. Yeah. The noodles, I think it cools it. That's why, yeah. I, took, that's why I took a second swig of the soup to get the heat. <laughs> My tongue is still burnt. Hmm. I think mom and sis would actually like it to a certain extent. I think it'd be too spicy for them. Hmm. Right. You see it over there? Hmm. It has a little kick. Mm -hmm. The soup is definitely a lot more. The soup's got the kick. Mm -hmm. kick. Yeah. <coughs> I couldn't eat too much at a time, but it's not really that spicy. I could eat the whole thing. Oh, heck yeah. And I'm oh. Now, my honey don't like spicy, but no. I'm telling you, it's got a good flavor. I don't trust y'all. Well, I told you it's got a little spice. It's got a good flavor, don't it? Oh my god. <laughs> but Aurora, you can handle spice better than your mama. Oh my god. I know I can. <laughs> Those were good. Great job, Japan. Y'all y'all really know how to make ramen noodles. So far we tried two. That was our second one. Now our third flavor is this one. Be sure and subscribe and follow. Bing. There's a bell there. Did you know what that bell's for? No. I didn't for a long time. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. <laughs> so you hit that bell, make sure it lit up. Because if it's blank, it ain't lit up. So you're not following. So if it's lit up. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold hold up. Am I backwards? <laughs> the the bell is for you to get it and mm. see the video as soon as it comes yeah. out. A oh. notification bar will come up here at the top of your screen if you touch the bell. I just know you gotta hit that <laughs> bell to get the notification. Oh, but these are called Tokyo Ramen. We'll be trying these in the next ramen video. Ooh, it looks yummy. Oh, you actually have to cook cook these. Cause they're not cooked, like those are cooked. Uh oh. You have to actually boil them. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.